Let's talk about eating clean. So the term clean eating is extremely popular amongst the fitness community. But what is clean eating exactly? Is it eating foods that are low in fat? Or maybe eating less processed foods? Possibly avoiding sugar? The foods that you see here are high in all of these. What we do know is nobody can agree on what clean eating actually is. But why should you even care? If you try and eat clean by every group's definition, you will never eat a thing. Without a clear definition of what clean eating actually is, it can lead to some very significant issues. Let's get into it. A diet plan should be a lifestyle change, and while there are many approaches to losing fat, some just may not be as convenient as others. To stick to a true stereotypical clean eating diet means that you are unable, or at least very restricted, to partake in social events such as eating a piece of birthday cake, or going out to dinner maybe having a drink with friends. The list goes on. This brings us to our next approach, restricting foods. The trouble with a lot of these diets, now again, they may work, but they are very restrictive. Now you have been shown time and time again that if you restrict certain foods, you are more likely to not follow the diet in the long run. Or at the very least, once the diet is finished, what often happens is the weight all comes back on. The other big issue to this approach is that if you cut out an entire food group, it means that you'll find it difficult to get what that food would provide you in nutrients. If you're keen on the content, remember to like the video and a subscribe would be amazing. Now for the third point, clean eating might be actually unhealthy. While there are foods that fall in the clean eating category, there are unhealthy approaches. You may want to start looking at food less of unhealthy, healthy, clean or dirty, and more of the quantity of what you're actually eating. Having too much of anything, even the most perceived healthy, nutritious foods, can still be detrimental to your health. The biggest one that is seen is the overconsumption of protein. And again, cutting out entire food groups can be a fast track to nutrition deficiencies. Okay, so where do we go from here? You could try a more relaxed approach with flexible dieting when a special event is coming up. You have to be honest with yourself here though. Try within the week, taking off one to 200 calories from each day to be able to consume these on the day of your event. Again, if you don't look at food, good or bad, or clean or dirty, rather how much you are consuming. And this can possibly be a more realistic approach to dieting. And eating foods that are low in micronutrients might possibly only be an issue when they dominate your diet. So a diet shouldn't be looked at as a quick fix, rather a lifestyle change. So I hope that this has been helpful. Remember to leave a comment to be a part of the conversation and keep safe everyone.